So I'd like to introduce one of those chefs to you tonight who's going to be doing a bit of a demonstration of how she does the magic in our kitchen. So I'd like to introduce Char Marston. Char is very humble. She probably won't tell you this. Before she ended up here, she was in England cooking for the Queen of England for a while. So she's worked her way up to St. Anthony's from there. So uh, we're very happy. Char, take it away. I try to get from Food Bank because if I can get it from Food Bank by waiting, then I will wait and spend the money on something else. I try to buy things that will flavor the food because Food Bank won't have those things. So what we'll do is we'll vac seal them. If I get a pallet in and I know that there's going to be a drought on it, I'll get another pallet in the following week, but we won't be able to use it that fast. So it'll be vac sealed and then stored. So it'll actually save its life a lot longer and it actually reduces the space that we need to store it. Lettuce, spinach, anything that needs a wash, it goes through this. And it's very similar to your washing machine. Pop, pop it down and Press start, that's pretty simple, and, and off it does its little wash and spin, and, and then it comes out and it's ready to process and send upstairs. It's just slow and steady, chopper, 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 chopper. Yeah. It's like the old chug -a lug train, I love it, but, but we are trying to get faster <laughs> and a little more efficient. Disaster food is down here. I have three days worth of disaster food down here. Most of the stuff in here has been donated. Yeah, we've got onions, carrots, this is potatoes over here. Last week we did hamburgers, like the first time ever doing hamburgers because we had the grill. Did the clients love it? Oh my God. And cherry Cokes. That was like off the top. I said, do we, do we, do we go halfway or all the way? I'm like, let's go all the way. I went home smelling like burgers, standing in a bar and it's kind of full and everyone's just like, I can see everyone doing this. And I'm like, oh, that's me. <laughs> I'm like, I smell like a giant burger. So I've been in and out of St. Anthony's life for a long time. I've worked in a lot of restaurants all over the world and nothing compares you for what it's like in St. Anthony's. This is a very unique environment. If I cook a Moroccan stew today, it's not going to be the same next month because it's going to be depending on what I can get. It's been my favorite job ever. And when you work in a restaurant business and you learn the menu, after that, what is there? But every month it changes here.